Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th Canto, 6th Chapter, verse number 5. Tato, yate ta, tato yate ta kushala, yato yate ta kushala, shemaya bhava ma shrita, shemaya bhava ma shrita, Shariram Purusham Yavan Shariram Purusham Yavan Shariram Purusham Yavan Shariram Purusham Yavan Navi Pajeta Pushkalam Navi Pajeta Pushkalam Navi Pajeta Pushkalam Navi Pajeta Pushkalam Translation For this reason a person who is fully competent to distinguish wrong and right while keeping himself in material existence, Bhavamashita, must endeavor for achieving the highest goal of life, so long the body is stout and strong and is not embarrassed by the dwindling condition of life. Tato jate ta purusha chimaya bhavamashita sariram purusham javan na vipadde ta puskalam so Prahlad Maharaj said that uh, people are engaged for improving uh, economic condition. He has uh, cancelled uh, the tat prayasana kattabhya jato ayub bayokparu. Blad Maharaj derives that these people were simply wasting time for improving material condition. Ahara Nidra Bhaya Mitham. They are not at all intelligent because <coughs> simply wasting time, uh, valuable time. That I have explained yesterday how important is this human form of life. Every moment should be utilized. <coughs> Every moment is so valuable that if we lose one moment, we'll lose so many hundred thousands of dollars that they do not understand. <coughs> so, how time can be utilized very nicely? That was also explained yesterday. Mukunda Charana <coughs> Just to take shelter of Mukunda, Mukunda means who can deliver you from this uh, conditional life. Uh, he is called Mukunda. That is the whole thing. Krishna comes, the whole Bhagavad Gita teaching ultimately ends with this order. Mukunda Charanam Vijam Sarvadharman Paritajya Mami Kam Saranam. This is the ultimate. But because <coughs> people have become deviated, fallen, they do not know. What is the end of life? What is the goal of life? Uh, they are simply wasting time. Vimura Chaita. Prahlad Maharaj said, My Lord, uh, I am not very much anxious for me because I have no trouble. Uh, as I have learned to chant your glories, so anywhere I am happy simply by glorifying your activities. Uh, 
But I am unhappy for this reason. When I see that this rascal simply for little material happiness, they are working so hard. Tato vimukha chetasa maya sukhaya bharamo bhato vimura. They have forgotten you. Vimukha uh, chetasa. They think, uh, what is the use of this Krishna consciousness? Vimukha. And what is required? Maya sukhaya. For few years to live in material comforts, bharamod bahato vimura. They are manufacturing so many big, big skyscrapers, building nice road, nice car. Maya sukhaya. In Western countries, very, very, we are also imitating in India, like Bombay city and others. Bharamod bahato. Gorgeous arrangement. And what for? For living for a few years. Uh, then he is going to be cats and dogs. He doesn't know that. Uh, and this was Maya Sukha. Uh, if somebody says that to come here at my place, I shall give you very good food, nice shelter, all comforts, and after a few days I shall drive you away and I shall beat you with my shoes. Will anybody agree? No. So we are doing that. Uh, forgetting our real business, we are busy in Maya Sukhaya. Bharamod Bahato Vimura. So Pallad Maharaj concludes this instruction in this way. Tato jati takusala chimaya bhavamasa. Bhavam. Bhavam means this material world. Where we take birth and die after some time. Bhava means become, manifest. This is material world. We take birth, we exist for some time, we grow. Then there are some byproducts, and then we become old and then die. This is called sarovika. Six kinds of changes. Uh, but the atma is the same. Uh, the example is given just like a tree, uh, any tree, say mango tree, uh, during season summer season, there are flowers in the tree and then they grow the small uh, green mango, then uh, it becomes yellow, a reddish, and then it becomes ripened, uh, then there is a seed within the mango, and then when it is overripened, it falls down, then finished. Business finish. Uh, <coughs> Similarly, but when the mango is finished, it does not mean the tree is also finished. The tree is there. And again in the next season there will be mango and the same changes will go on. Similarly, it is a crude example. We spirit soul we are eternal, exactly like the tree. It is not eternal, but in comparison to the fruit, it is eternal. A tree lives for hundred thousand, five hundred years, and the same business go on. The mango, uh, it is coming in fruit, just like flower, then uh, green, then grows, then dwindles. So we are eternal, and our different bodies are just like seasonal fruits. Uh, on account of our different karma, we get different body. So this body is undergoing the six kind of changes. Uh, but the soul, 
he is not going any change. He is the same. So uh, here it is said that we are changing a bhava. Uh, ever increasingly we are taking birth. Janma mrittu jarabhyadhi. Dukkha dhusana darshan. This is our actual uh, distress that we are obliged to take birth, uh, death, disease, old age. So we are struggling against it. Nobody wants to become old man, especially in this winter season. It is very difficult for old man. <coughs> so, but you have to accept jara, badly. Nobody can escape disease. Nobody can escape birth. Nobody can escape death. That struggle is going. When you are diseased, there is a great struggle how to cure myself, go to the doctor, take good medicine, and so on, so on. But we cannot check the disease condition. Similarly, we cannot check our old age, cannot check our birth death. Therefore, here it is said, kusala. Kusala means if you actually want benefit. Because this kind of struggling has not given you any benefit. But if you want actually benefit, kusala, tato jatita, then you should endeavor for this. What is that? Srimaya, for your ultimate benefit. And how long? Sadiram purusang jabanna vipadri tapuskara. So long you are stout and strong, you should try how to become free from this bondage of birth, death, old age, and disease. Not that you keep yourself, this business, set aside. When we shall get old, then we shall chant Hare Krishna and become Krishna conscious. That is not the thing. Immediately, Prahlad Maharaj says that Kumarvacharit Pragya Dharman Bhagavatanya. From the very beginning of life, when Kumar, a small child, boy, from that age one should begin this Bhagavata life or Krishna consciousness. That is called Brahmacharya. To teach Brahmacharya from the very beginning of life. And when you are young, then <coughs> you should work with more vigor and intelligence. At that time, brain is very nice. Young man has got all the facilities. The machine is strong. This is a machine. Uh, so old machine cannot so work. Uh, <coughs> so it is a great fortune for the young boys and girls of Europe and America, that in this young life they are cultivating Krishna consciousness. It is a very good fortune. Uh, here it is recommended by Prahlad Maharaj. Sariram purusang javan na vipadnati puskala. So long he did not become invalid, old, unable to work, uh, he should try. Uh, not try, you must jatita hmm, for developing Krishna consciousness. Uh, not that when I shall become old, uh, before death, I shall try a few months Hare Krishna. No. From the very beginning of life, from childhood, uh, they should be taught how to chant Hare Krishna, how to attain Mangalarati. How to, in this way, by this practice, vidhi, vidhi bhakti, regulated principle, uh, tapasya, this is called tapasya. Tapu dibbam putra kajina suddhita satya. If you want to purify your existence, then you should begin. That is human life, tapasya. 
human life is not meant for polished dogism and pigism. That is not human life. Uh, if a cat and dog becomes nicely dressed, that does not mean he becomes a human being. He is cat and dog. Similarly, if we keep our mentality like cats and dogs and outwardly dress very nicely, uh, they have been described as the pause of course, two-legged animal. Animal, he is animal because he is not cultivating Krishna consciousness. The cats and dogs cannot do it, so he is no better than cats and dogs. This is the country. Saiva Gopara, that is the verdict of Vedic literature. Just sharp buddhi, puna priti dhatu ki, sadhik kalatra dishubhoma ijyati, yati sa buddhi salile na karichi, janesu avignesu, saiva gopara. Just like in Vrindavan, many visitors come, they think that by simply uh, taking it deep into the Jamuna water, their teeth is finished, uh, pilgrimage is finished. But Shastra says, the teeth of Uddhi Salile, if one comes to Vrindavan and simply takes advantage of taking a bath in the river Jamuna, that is also very good, but that does not finish his business. Uh, he must seek out where in Vrindavan Krishna consciousness is going on. Uh, janeshu avigeshu, where there is a person who can teach me about Krishna consciousness. That is humanity. Otherwise, if he thinks simply by going to Vrindavan and taking a dip in Jamuna uh, or um, saving the head, and purchasing some utensils for sons and daughters, their fifth uh, They have been this described as Sayava Go Karo. Go means cow and Karo means ass. Tithi Kurbanta Tithani. When you go to some holy place, because in the holy place there are many persons who are very learned, who can give you uh, very good instruction about spiritual life. So you must seek such person and associate with him. That is Tirtha. Tirtha Kurvanta Tirtha. Because it is said in the Shastra that ordinary man with sinful habits they come to Tirtha, holy place, and actually they become purified. Uh, actually they become purified. This, that is the glory of Tirthasthan, Dham. But when such sinful garbage is accumulated, will clear, it will be cleared by the saintly person, by the Purnava. Tirthi Kurvanti Tirtha. Again they make it Tirtha. So therefore it is advised. So anyone who is coming <coughs> to Vrindavan, they must seek out the devotees who have dedicated to Krishna consciousness and trying to preach Krishna consciousness to the ignorant people who are busy in material activities. This is the Therefore, it is recommended in India you will find so many tithas, eh? so many tithas. Eh? Prayag, Mathura, Vrindavan, Haridvar, Rameshwaram. Uh, that is the arrangement. Uh, and after retirement of life, Banang Vrajet, Panchasadham Banang Vrajet. Uh, Prahlad Maharaj also said to his father, Hityatma Ghatam Griyanda Kupam Banangato Jad Harimasai. Uh, and formerly, Big, big kings, uh, everyone, compulsory retirement, Banaprastha, Sannas, Banam, uh, means go to the forest. Uh, one who goes to the forest, he is called Banaprastha. From Ban, the word Banam has come. Banaprastha. 
panchasa dham banam brije. After 50 years of age, one must go to the forest for meditation, for tapasya, austerity, and when he is perfectly uh, trained up, this training is given from brahmachari life, grihastha life also, but people are not taking training. Uh, they are not kusolo. Uh, actually they do not know what is the aim of life. Uh, they are cats and dogs. The one who is kusolo actually knows the uh, aim of life, for him, jateta khimaya bhavamasita. Because in the material existence, it is simply suffering. But these foolish men, they do not understand. They are thinking, enjoy. Uh, how you can enjoy? Krishna says, this dukkhalayam vasasatam. This is a place for suffering. Actually, suffering. Tritam jantana. Adi bhauti, adi daivi, adi. But because they have become fools and rascals, they do not understand that they are suffering. They are taking it, they are enjoying. The uh, Bhavamasita, uh, therefore, anyone who is in such condition, uh, abominable condition, condemned condition, they must take to uh, shelter of Krishna consciousness. So long the body is strong enough. When the body is old, that when the body is old, uh, it cannot move, uh, it is attacked with rheumatism and so many other things, indigestion. No. Uh, so long it is uh, sadiram purusham. Uh, purusham, why this word used? There are women also. Purusham does not mean a man. Purusham means one who en- wants to enjoy. He is called Purusham. Uh, anyone here in the material world, although one has got the body of a male, or although one has got the body of a female, both of them are for enjoyment. Uh, therefore it is used Purusham. Purusham means enjoy. Uh, so either the woman or man, the propensity is how to enjoy life. Uh, that's what it is called. So uh, either purus, the male or female, anyone who has got this body, uh, he must uh, perform Krishna consciousness until she becomes. Uh, you should go on. If you practice when you are stout and strong, just like a, a person begins exercising uh, in young age, and in the old age also he can perform exercise, practice, anything you practice, that is recommended. Jateta kusalak chimaya bhavamasita. So, this is for Lad Maharaj's instruction that don't waste your time. Uh, human life is very valuable, uh, and Chanaka Pandit also says, Ayu Satchanayakoti, Nalabha Sarnakoti Vi. You cannot get back in one moment of your life by paying millions of dollars. So if you waste your time, uh, the Krishna conscious people, they should not be lazy. Uh, they should always remember. The death is already there. Let me finish my business properly, uh, so that after death I may not be a cat and dog. Uh, at least I may get. There is no. My Guru Maharaj used to say that why should you wait for another life? Finish Krishna consciousness business in this life. Uh, in this life, why if you should? Uh, um, Set aside the business for another life. No. Surnam jateta anumetsu pathetu java. This is the instruction. Sir. Before the next death, uh, you should prepare yourself uh, for death. Death is uh, inevitable. You cannot avoid death. Uh, 
But before the next death comes, if you become fully Krishna conscious, then your life is successful. Janma karma swami divam jujanati tat. But if Krishna try to understand Krishna, Krishna, what is Krishna? Why he appears? Why he disappears? What is his nature? Who is he? So many things are to be known. Krishna is God. He is not an ordinary thing. He has got unlimited qualities, unlimited functions. And if we simply understand that Krishna is true Bhagavan, without going into the details, if you accept simply this fact that here is the Supreme Personality of God, Vāsudeva, and everything is the exhibition of His different energies. Vāsudeva sarva meti samahātmā sudhullava. If you simply understand, even it is blind, that everything, whatever we see, that is exhibition of Krishna's energy. Just like in this material world, the practical example is, whatever we see, the trees and the plants and buildings, the chemicals, everything is generating from this sunlight, energy of the sun glow. Similarly, whatever we see, Krishna says also, maya tatamidam sarvam jagat abhakta murtina matsani sarva bhūtāni nāhaṁ teshu avasthita. Krishna is manifest by his energy. So if you understand these things, that is Krishna consciousness. There is nothing but Krishna. Therefore it should be utilized for Krishna. If everything belongs to Krishna, things belonging to a certain person, it must be utilized for him. This is Krishna consciousness. Not that your property I can utilize for my benefit. That is stealing. Uh, that is uh, cheating. Uh, so similarly, if we understand, parasya brahmana sakti sarve dhamma kilam jagat, everything whatever you see, it is distribution or manifestation of Krishna's energy. Uh, that is explained, bhumi rapana lo bhayu phangamano buddhiri vacha vinnami prakiti astadha. Aparāyam mitasthu vidhimi prakitiṁ parā jīva bhūta maha māho jaidam dhājati jada. Everything is explained. So if you simply try to understand Bhagavad Gītā and don't play rascal down by interpreting in a different way, then your life is successful. Simply. Krishna has left there for before he is leaving this world, yadāhi yadā yadāhi dharmasya glāni bhavati bhāk, tada atmānam sujā. He comes when he forgets all these things. He comes again, he establishes dharma samasthāpana ārkāya. What is that dharma? Sarva dharma ārpaditta jamā mekaṁ saranā. All this rascal dham, cheating dharma, give up, simply sand up. So if you simply learn this art, that is Krishna, sorry, Krishna consciousness. Then the result will be takta dehaṁ punar janma naiti māmi ti kaunti. That is, you have to give up this body, that is certain. But if you don't take to Krishna consciousness, then you have to accept another body. Bhutta bhutta praliyate. So don't do this business. Finish this business. Samupita mrittam, namo chayadja samupita mrittam. This material existence means repetition of birth and death, bhavāsita. So if you want to be saved and elevated to our original position, then only means is Krishna consciousness. There is no other way out. That is stated by Pulla. Mukunda charanam ujam. He does not say for any other gods. Mukunda. 
then what about others who are worshipping other demigods? Mura, they are mean. Kamastatva hita jnana, jajanti annadevata. These rascals are befooled on account of lusty desires. Antava tu falamti. Suppose you worship a demigod. Jati deva brata deva. You can be elevated to the celestial world, heavenly planet. But what will be benefit? You'll have to die there. The same death is there. You have to struggle there. Don't think that the demigods, they're living very peacefully. Uh, no, that is not possible. Indra is always embarrassed with so many things. Uh, you have read the fight with Indra. Uh, so many Asuras, Devasura, Hiranagasipu. The same thing is simply they have got a long duration of life. A high standard of life, but the same stuff. Just like here you see, uh, in India and Europe, America, they have got the high standard of life. Uh, they have got a skyscraper building, very big, big roads, motor cars. But what is that? Simply struggle. Uh, are they happy? Uh, we are poor country. Of course, we have no such opulence, but. The standard, the Janma Mittu Jarabhadi is there. Uh, not that they are sitting idly and food is coming automatically. No. They have to struggle. Uh, so either you be in the heavenly planet or in the lowest planet, the struggle is there. One of Sasthani Indriyani, Prakriti Sthani Karsati. So long we will be in the material world. You have Abrahma Bhavana Lokan, Punaravati Lokan. Even you go to the Brahma Lok or Indra Lok, Chandra Lok, they are trying to go to the Chandra Lok. Uh, but they do not know where is Chandra Lok. Uh, they are going and coming, going and coming. So one must know it that even if I go to the Brahma Loka, by our uh, material uh, power, that is also punaravati nojana. Hmm. That is bhava uh, So we should uh, try to avoid the material existence and come to our original life, eternal life, blissful life, uh, satchitananda vigraha. Uh, that is really solution of the problem, chemaya, kusalat chemaya. Uh, so long this human body we have got, and especially young man, uh, don't spoil it. That is our Krishna consciousness moment. Thank you very much.